Welcome back to Newbie for Hire and another boat building guide. This one I call the Christmas tree. This is a guide for official P vs P and it is a motorboat guide. So grab a pillar, grab the rudder. I like to pull it back from there a little bit. Bring it to about there. Place the pillar. Another pillar half back. Demolish that pillar. Another pillar at the lower spot. Demolish. Foundation there. Pillar there. And that is our... That's going to form the point. That's going to form the foundation for the majority of the raft. One more pillar here, and then drop this actually a little easier if you don't have that one in place and then just cycle snap points until you get the one you need just like that I'm gonna go one ceiling off the front and one ramp off the back and this is the whole base of the boat. This is where we're going to come in at. First place a wall. A wall. Like so. And we're going to have a ceiling here. Ceiling here. Ceiling there. And then place your doorway off the ceiling like that so it matches up with the walls up front we're going to use a sloped wall and a sloped wall there and a sloped ceiling there place a ceiling in each corner and one in the center. This one in the center is where our generator is going. We can place a thatch ceiling there to help us place it perfectly. It's about where we want it. Then we're going to do I'm going to go two cables off the generator and a box at the top and a box at the bottom. All right, sorry, I actually have the graphics on the lower setting. I put them back up. All right, so next we're going to place our giant hatch frames. We're going to do one on each corner. We have to do these now. If we wait to place the walls, it won't let us place them. So, we just place them right over these ceilings. Just like so. Since it's easier, we're going to place these lower turrets now. Place one there. One there. One there. One there. done you should have three on each of the hatch frames.
All right, so our current turret placement should look like that. And we're gonna place a sloped wall there. Sloped wall there. Another one there. There's a sloped middle wall right. Another white right one there. We're going to slope wall left. And slope wall left here as well. And we're going to do slope ceiling. Slope, slope ceiling. Slope ceiling. Five slope ceilings, and then we are going to want to place a wall up from here, like that. Place our ceilings there. We'll go back downstairs. Demolish this wall. from here, it's just pretty much walls all the way up. So we're gonna go wall there, wall there, and it's gonna be too high. Like this. Once it's too high, we're gonna place a ceiling. Yeah, uh, use whatever you need to get up there, a quetzal or build scaffolding if you need to. Once we're there, we're going to place giant metal hatch frames, two of them, just like that, and then place your guns like this, one on each corner, facing out diagonally. and then do the same on the opposite side. Then we're going to place these walls first. And then these walls, you might need to use the snap point rotation. Just like that. We got, we're going to also want the turrets right here in the middle. One on each side. So it should look like that. And the final wall there. And this is going to go up two as well. Once that's too high, we will build a ceiling again. This time we are going to use catwalks. You could use another double hatch frame and it would come about it would come up with the same number of pieces because here we've got four catwalks and we're gonna put four turrets on it. Down below we have six guns and two hatch frames. So either way it's eight pieces. Obviously with the hatch frames you get additional guns and additional view. So that's personal preference. We won't get this nice tree shape though. So here we're, we're probably sacrificing a little bit of functionality for aesthetics. Once we've got those placed we're going to go two pillars in the middle just like that with a ceiling on top. Then we're going to place a crop plot here and a crop plot on the opposite side. 
for our plant decks. On the very top, we're going to have four more turrets at each corner of the ceiling piece. And this will form the very top of our tree. And down on the bottom, we are going to go one crop plot there, one crop plot there, one on this corner, one on that corner, one off the back. One in the middle on the back. And the last one on the front ramp, or front uh, slope ceiling. So the boat exterior should look like this. We're not going to place the plan X until very last because they take up a spot and we don't have the spots for them. With the plan X, we're not going to place those. You're able to place them even at maximum structure but once they've fully grown, they'll count against your structure limit. So we place those very last. Now this uh, thing on the front we were building, we're gonna bring a wall down, wall down, wall down. You could use thatch walls for that because we're gonna destroy those. S then a ceiling, we're gonna keep the ceiling. A pillar. And then another pillar up. Then go ahead and demolish all three of these walls. Then we're going to need four turrets for here because we're going to protect and these we're going to set on all targets because we want to protect against uh, leads from destroying our boat. That's the or from people getting underneath it. So underneath our boat should look like this. Inside the boat you could put a ladder to your generator if you wanted to, but we don't need to. We can access it from below as you can see. Now as for what we're going to put in here, I like to put a fridge, which we can put here up against the generator. Just like that. A fabricator. Like so. Chemistry bench. smoothie. Bunk bed, or regular bed, depends what you can afford. A forge. air conditioning and let's see if we can squeeze a couple of guns in here and if we got the structures I think we do We'll go one up on the top. I built this before. I could have swore it maxed out before this point, but since it's not, we're going to go ahead and put crop up there. Crop up there. 
So now our boat is completely decked out in crop plots. And it looks like we have one more structure we can place, so you just place whatever you want with that last piece. Alright, so there's the finished tree. Now here's the alternate build we can do, which costs the same amount of pieces, looks a little different, probably a little bit stronger defensively speaking, but not by a significant amount. Alright, for the alternate build, we're going to go back to where we first placed these two hatch frames. We built two walls up, we put the ceiling, only now we're going to put hatch frames again, only we're going to put them, you could put them the same direction as the other ones, but let's put them the opposite uh, to get a little better turret coverage. And then once again, turrets on each corner, turrets on each side. Turrets on the opposite corners. And then from here we're going up two pillars, just like before. And a ceiling. And then guns on each corner, like so. That one looks a little bit different, it's a little bit stronger defensively speaking. The crop plots on the hatch trims aren't quite as easy to place. They don't look quite as nice either, but they still look good. One final shot of what it would look like had you put the hatch frames at the same orientation. So depending on how you like it. The other orientation I think is a little better defensively, but you know, whatever you look whatever you think looks better, I think is it's not gonna matter too much, it's not gonna make a big difference. So there you have it. The pieces for this build This build requires nine foundations, twenty-seven walls. 13 ceilings, 4 sloped right walls, 4 sloped left walls, 6 sloped ceilings, 6 giant hatch frames, 4 catwalks, 4 pillars, 1 ramp, 11 large crop plots, 2 electrical vertical cables, 2 junction boxes, 1 generator, and 34 turrets, and then whatever amenities you want to put inside. That's for the original build. For the alteration, it's just zero catwalks, eight hatch frames instead of six, and 36 turrets instead of 34. Everything else the same, and whatever amenities you want to put inside. All right, thanks for watching. I usually focus on uh, P vs. P boat builds, but if you want to see something else, let me know in the comments, and I'll uh, see about making another type of guide. Have a good one.